Welcome back to my Final Fantasy XIV drama series. Today's drama story is about two girls and a plot. Feel free to like and subscribe. Let's begin. I don't know if I'd call it the worst drama I've ever experienced in the game, but definitely the most stupid. Also, pro tip, don't join guilds where the co-leaders or the leader or any of the high officers are dating. It never ends well. I kind of agree with that. There have been a lot of guilds that I've seen or heard of that like if there's a relationship with one of the high officers or the owner, it just doesn't end well all the time. And because I've been reading a lot of Final Fantasy XIV drama stories as of late. So I used to have this friend in the game. She was a really good friend, or I thought she was, and was there for me while I was going through a really bad rough patch. She introduced housing demolition to me in Final Fantasy XIV. I was super hyped because a few months before I had started my own FC and we had enough gill in the chest for a small plot if we could find one that was open. And I also had more than enough gill in my personal funds for a small house for myself. My plan for the day when plot started auto demoing had basically been to pick a lavender beds ward, camp it, and run to whatever house or houses I could get my hands on. My friend tells me she knew someone who had a small house in lavender beds who hadn't played in a year or so, and she showed me where his plot was. Apparently his girlfriend, who also hadn't logged in for a long time, also had a medium plot and my friend had enough guilt to purchase it. So Christmas Day rolls around and this was when those first fateful demolitions happened. I had pulled an all-nighter thinking the houses were going to be available as soon as the servers came up from maintenance. And then it turns out we had to wait a ton of hours for the plots to actually open up. I toughed it out at the plot my friend had told me about. During that time, I kind of got attached to the plot because I really liked its location. So I made the decision that I'd buy the plot for myself as a personal plot, then try to nab a different plot for my FC. Worst case scenario, if I failed to get a second house for my FC, I'd eat the cost, relinquish my personal plot, and repurchase it for my FC. Now, during this time, my friend and I had been talking and being really supportive of each other, but she had started acting really indecisive about whether she wanted the medium house she was camping at or a small house and how she kind of wanted the house I was waiting at because it had a lot of memories of her friend who used to own the plot or something along those lines. But I had made it very clear that I intended to buy that plot and had even told her my plans when I decided I wanted that plot as my personal one and I was going to try and get a different house for my FC. The house is finally freed up. I bought the plot. I frantically ran around like a chicken with its head cut off trying to get a second plot in time for my FC. I managed to do so, then I get a tell from my friend asking if I got the house. I excitedly tell her, yes! I had succeeded in getting both my personal and FC house. I expected her to be happy for me because that's what you do when something good happens to your friend, right? Yeah, pretty right. But no, she flipped out. I guess the person who had owned the house she had been camping at, assuming she had actually been camping it, and by the way, this whole experience made me question literally everything and anything she ever told me, had taken advantage of the free login event that happened that previous month and had landed within the 45-day window between when 4.1 dropped and when demolitions actually started. So the plot never opened up. And so she didn't get a house. So she started sending me harassing messages, telling me how it wasn't fair that I got two houses while she didn't get one, and how she wished she had never told me about the plot, and how she hated me, etc. When I set myself to slash busy, she bitched at me through link shells before leaving all of the ones that we had in common. But it didn't stop there, oh no. She also went around telling my mutual acquaintances we had that would listen that I had stolen the house that she wanted. Fortunately, some of them knew better and didn't listen to her, but some unfortunately believed her. In retrospect, it feels a lot like she set me up, especially since it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me that in the time it took me to buy a house and run around the subdivision trying to get the second house and buy a second plot, 
she wasn't able to realize that the house that she was at wasn't going to demolish and try to run to a different plot and just buy it. That's true. The kicker is, after about a year of no contact, even with her returning to one of the link shells she had rage quit because I was in it, one day out of the blue I got a tell from her and it simply read, Hey, how are you doing? No apology, no acknowledgement of what she had done whatsoever, as if it hadn't even happened. I never responded because after what she'd done, I had no intention of letting her back into my life. Ooh, my reaction. So the OP mentions that it felt like her friend set her up. You know, like after reading the story, I don't think her friend intentionally set her up or anything. I just straight up think she just got jealous and salty. I felt like she had good intentions at the beginning by telling her friend about these plots. But as soon as she didn't get one, she just like brought out like a devil side of her, a very salty side uh, that the OP just didn't deserve. She started harassing her through messages and that wasn't nice and just being bitching at her and being mean. It's, it's basically plots and all the housing stuff is all fair game. And if you were just if you decided as a friend to tell your friend this kind of information about demolition and what plots haven't been touched in a while, then that was her own choice. It's free reign for the OP and the OP even told her that she was going to go for those houses. I mean, if the friend really wanted that house, I guess she could have said something like, can I please have that house? And then maybe they could have worked something out then. But the OP already said they were very much set on buying those houses right after they were told that information. So it just sucks that she was just a bad friend to the OP. If she had mess, if I was in your situation, OP, and I would feel really bummed out that that friend became like that. And I know that's happened, actually happened to me. Like I had a friend in the game that showed me a terrible side and I am just not friends with them anymore. And so if they had messaged me out of the blue and just acted like nothing happened, I also would just ignore until they actually apologize because I ain't gonna forget about that, but I can forgive. And I can also see that the OP was willing to forgive if the friend had just apologized. It's easy. Just say sorry when you're in the wrong or you upset someone. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Final Fantasy XIV drama story. If you have any of your own drama stories that you'd like me to share and read out anonymously, feel free to reach out to my Discord, discord.gg slash Patra. I want to give a shout out to my YouTube members, Mr. Van Halen 93, a tier 3 sub, and Mauricio and Naz, both tier 1 subs. I appreciate you guys so much. If you'd like to also show support towards my YouTube content, feel free to become a member by clicking the join button on my YouTube main page, then choosing a tier you want. You'll get access to cute emotes and a sub badge for whenever you comment on my videos. Take care and I'll see you guys in my next video.